The Auburn Cord Duesenberg Automobile Museum is open seven days a week for you to learn about classic cars throughout history. But there's more to the museum than just the exhibits. Joining me to explain more is Walter Fisher with the museum. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Sierra. I'm doing really well. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. So. If people were to take an everyday trip up to the museum, what can they expect? Uh, you can expect a lot. Um, first of all, you're going to see a lot of automobiles. We have approximately 115 cars that are on display at any given time. That'll cover about 120 years of automotive technology. Yeah. And so if somebody were to come out, um, what would you suggest for the viewing audience? Would it be mom and dad with the kids? Could it even be grandma and grandpa with the kids? I would say all of the above. You're yeah. going to want mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, and the kids. Um, we really try to make sure we have something for everybody there. Um, of course, the grandparents, uh, we find that there's a lot of nostalgia there. Those are the vehicles they grew up around and remember. And then the kids are blown away because they've never seen vehicles like that before. Um, and then that's on top of some of the programs we developed specifically for children as well. And we're going to talk about those programs. What do you guys have available? We have a lot. Um, last year we started working in partnership with the Girl Scouts to develop some programs uh, to help get them involved in, in uh, technology and some of the STEM programs there. Um, and then that will lead into some other things we do for the general public. Uh, we have movie nights. We'll do um, our cars and coffee, which we'll talk about later on. Um, we have lots of different programs for a lot of different people. And also with the cars there, there is a special exhibit that a lot of people have heard the name. Yeah. And it's kind of a, a one-time thing at your museum that you have to see. Yeah, it is. So, uh, you know, we've, we've been shut down since March, uh, like the rest of the state has. And so we're kind of sitting around just trying to figure out what to do when we can open. And we decided that we would take all of our cars. Uh, we have about uh, 13, 14 that are in storage that the public generally doesn't get to see. We said, we'll bring them out of quarantine and put them on exhibit. Uh, so we, we emptied out one, uh, one area of our showroom, and all of our st uh, storage cars are on there. We're calling that our out of quarantine exhibit. Fun stuff there. And we talked about briefly about the program. So there is also two events that are coming up next Saturday that you guys are hosting. That's right. So Saturday morning is our Cars and Coffee event. Now, we've been doing that for uh, a couple of years now, so a lot of the public is familiar with that. That will start at 9 a.m. Um, basically, you drive your car up, you park it, and then you talk with other people that are like-minded and car enthusiasts. We will provide all the free coffee, so you don't got to worry about that. Uh, you just need to show up and have a good time. And <laughs> then, and then later on that evening um, uh, is our doozies and movies uh, that we'll be doing. That'll start at sunset, and we will be presenting Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Um, which is, again, free for the public to come and enjoy. So why do you want to have events like that for the public to just come up and just be there? Absolutely. So that is, that is part of our mission, is really to help. It it's really goes to the educational part of our mission, is where we provide a service for the community, um, and especially now where the community really needs things to do so that they're not sitting in the house sort of going crazy all the time. Um, and, and we found our events have been really well received. We're taking uh, as much precautions as we can to encourage social distancing and, and people to be safe. But, um, you know, it's, it's just it's really nice to be able to provide the public with something they can do that's really fun and, and free. Robert well, Walter, excuse me, thank you so much for stopping by again. Like we mentioned, those two events are happening next week. You can find more information on Wayne.com a little bit later today.